My name is Wanda. Today I will do a demo for the TensorFlow service assembly running on YAR. So let's look at the spec file first. First, we need to specify the name of the service assembly. The name should be unique. So later, Yang will put this as a part of the host name for the launched service containers. And then we will define um, the components we will launch. We have totally three different components, the trainer, the parameter server, and the serving service. So let's look at the trainer first. For the trainer, we will specify the number of container to 10, so the YAR will know launch 10 trainers in parallel. And we will specify the artifact here for the trainer, which is a Docker image. So YAR will automatically pull the Docker container and launch it by using Docker. And then we will specify the launch command here. Um, for each trainer, we will use the Python script here and specify the parameter server hosts. So um, we will have five parameter servers. So we'll specify the parameter server 125. And this is the assembly name as a part of the host name. And this is the username and following the domain name. So according to this rule, we can pre-known the service container host name before submitting the application. This can make the application submission to be very simple. So we, uh, after specify the parameter server, we will specify the worker host. So we will from we launch the ten trainer process. So we will specify the worker host to be trainer one to ten, and similarly the um, service assembly name, username, and domain name. The job name specified to worker. So TensorFlow knows this is a trainer process. So. This is for the each service to know the index when it gets started. And finally, we will specify the resource of the service. And then we will pass the component ID to the task index. For here, the component ID for this component will be 1 to 10. The next is the parameter server for the training. We will specify five containers for the parameter server. And um, the launch command is very, very similar to the trainer. The only difference is we will tell TensorFlow this is a parameter server. The last component, the serving service, we will skip it for now and um, look at the training service first. Let's try to submit the service assembly to YAR and look at the cluster. Click the send to send this to YAR. Yeah, so YAR tells us the service is um, accepted. Click the name to get the information of the service. We can use the get API to query the service status here. The component name tells us this is a nice trainer. We can go to the YAR web UI to get the trainer's output. This is the application, and we just submit it. Click the application, and we can go to the application attempt, and go to the container number 10. Click the lots, and we can access the standard out here. Yeah, so we can see the, the training service is already started and running. And we can refresh the page to get the update. Also, go back and look at other trainers. So, for example, um, the container number 9 runs the trainer number 8. So, let's go back to the web UI and go back to the container number 8. Yeah, so we can see the two workers are building models in parallel. Yeah, so we just finished the, the training part, and let's go to the survey part. 
This is a serving component description. We specified five containers for the serving service. And we specified the unique comp component support to be false, which YAR will assign the same host name and port for the containers. And internally, it will do the load balancing. And we specify the Docker image name as before, and the launch command to serve in the, the model on the port 9000. The serving service is built from the ImageNet dataset. So let's look at what the dataset looks like. This is the ImageNet. This dataset consists of 14 millions of images and more than 21 thousands of subclasses. So um, you can see how detailed classified of this dataset. Here is the animal and under the animal it has a domestic animal and the dog under the dog we can see the working dog working dog it has a guide dog and the leaf class is a thin eye dog and this is thin eye dog we can click the other classes for example the bull mastiff our model is learned from this huge data set using a algorithm called Inception V3. This model needs a days of time to train even on a very high-end GPUs. So I would directly use a pre-trained model. Let's try to play with the model. Let's look at the images we will try to ask the model to predict. The first picture we will send to the model to classify is the Santa Fe freight train. Yeah, so let's go to the client and send this picture to the to the service. Um, the service will run on the serving host and internally Yarn can do the auto load balancing. Let's try that. The model will return the top five class to the client. So let's look at them. The first class is a um, freight car, and the score is the highest. The later, the model think it also looks like the passenger car, electric locomotive, steam locomotive, and the trailer truck. So let's try some other examples. Uh, let's try the F22. Yeah, so the highest score is a war plane. And the following four classes are all very re related. For example, the wings, the missile, and the aircraft carrier, things like this. Let's try a hard challenge. This is a picture to predict. This is a famous picture from Facebook. People confuse about uh, is this a cat or is this a dog. So we can ask the model to get the class. Let's send the picture to the model. Yeah, so the model think this is more like a Persian cat. That's all for my demo. Thank you.